Okay then, real quick before I get into the video, in the last video that I made, you might have, well I know you might, you not might have, you for sure have like heard it, the very beginning of the audio for some reason kind of just cut out on me, or it didn't just cut out, it was super quiet, it wasn't like that when I edited the video, it was actually kind of like decently loud because I keep it at a certain decibel just to make sure that it doesn't, you know, like, this is just like all precautionary just because I don't want it to get, you know, a uh, copyright strike or whatever whenever I do record uh, a video and I uh, post it whatnot whatnot right I don't want you know I just I, pay, I take precautions just in case I don't go through another instance like how I did the last the, all those weeks ago but anyways I digress so you might have seen the title and thumbnail of this video and if you have keep in mind you've seen seen it before I have because I haven't made it yet but I do know what <laughs> type what what I'm gonna talk about and uh, it is gonna be in it and it's about specifically social media addiction now before i get into that i have to say this if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel share the video like it comment do whatever just anything to help any of that literally that i just said helps bolster my fucking uh my uh, youtube uh channel to then make it to where i am able to you know show uh to you know show it to more people via analytics and all that jazz so that's all beneficial in that way. So really, thank you for sticking around. And if you do uh, subscribe and do all that stuff, it'll be really helpful. Thank you. But anyways, I digress. Let me go back to the main video. So in the main topic, what I really do want to talk about just for a little bit today is the idea that I that got into my head via whenever I was preparing to make this video. And again, it all goes along the lines of, well, you know, writing and just like trying to meditate on the idea of like, OK, how do I like make these videos? So I wanted to just figure out, like, oh, this is a good topic to talk about. And again, let me be very clear. Let me make this very clear. I'm not a psychological major or any fucking way, okay? I know bare minimum about everything. I don't fucking, I know dog shit about everything, okay? I know nothing. But I do know enough about some shit. One of the things I do know, because I fucking lived through it, was the idea of social media addiction. Now, keep in mind, it sounds stupid. I really know it does. But keep in mind, it fucking is a terrible thing. Why? Because holy shit, it legitimately would suck away my fucking time throughout my whole day within like all those, uh, uh, all that time ago. Because there was a time when I would wake up, and I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I'm just telling you the truth because I'm gonna tell a story basically of why, like why this is a fucking terrible thing. I would wake up in the mornings and immediately just on my fucking phone and just start like scrolling through Instagram and shit like that. That's all I had. Just all, just back, it's, that's all I had. Because now, now I have like fucking other shit, but I don't fuck with it whatsoever. We'll get into that later back then i would just wake up and just get on instagram and just scroll and scroll mindlessly scrolling for fucking hours until i had to get up and actually leave and do shit it was terrible there was other instances in my uh, in my life where i would literally have free time and i would just get on fucking instagram and just start scrolling because all you see is fucking like sharp quick hits of dopamine just hitting your fucking brain and it's like oh this fucking pretty picture bro so it's like you know it's, it's very terrible for your fucking mind growing up i'll be real honest with you thankfully i didn't have it when i was fucking young like extremely young but I, like as i got and when i was a little older like even still like the the idea that i wasted so much time on this app was just fucking outrageous holy shit keep in mind i'm not saying i'm a saint now like i'm fucking clear like no 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 keep i i, I just i haven't relapsed back into that uh part of me yet the main thing that I've uh, that I use Instagram for, and I've admitted this uh, to fucking everyone that does ask. It's like, do you use it strictly for fucking uh, marketing purposes on YouTube? Of course, I have a little fucking group chat. I send messages to people. Like it's a little, it's a, it's there, but I don't fucking. I'm not like how I was, where I was always on this fucking app, just fucking mindlessly scrolling like a fucking idiot. Like I'm just not gonna do that anymore. I just don't want to waste my time anymore. And that was the main problem with this whole fucking thing is that it just really sucks away your time and that's the biggest thing that i genuinely I genuinely just do not like i don't like my time being wasted on something so meaningless like that like i get it like becky said a fucking video like i so, so it's, it's like yeah sure cool like, what does fucking becky have to say but in reality it's like does it really fucking matter like unless it's like really like a person really close to you and all that type of shit or whatever like they wouldn't mind like oh they didn't see it. it's perfectly fine like i understand that they're fucking people will get real addicted to this thing and they, they explain a bunch of shit like oh i have people in a message or i have people in a message i need to do the voice i haven't fucking give me a second okay i'm trying shit out okay listen give me a second all right hold on stop wait hold on let's go <laughs> so 
it was uh like i get it like yeah it's fucking it's a social platform you get on it you go fucking see other people's fucking pictures you go see other like dumb shit and just like see memes or whatnot right that's all that's usually on my fucking uh instagram it's literally fucking dumb shit of memes it's like that's all i used it for okay uh so knowing that it's like well yeah it's just mindlessly fucking scrolling of course i used it for uh like as of now like i will use it for fucking just trying to market my fucking channel that's the main purpose of it but holy shit back then it was absolutely terrible there were instances where i would like have a fucking like a good example like again it's it's during a free time event so i'm just so we'll give it a little quick uh backstory like i would just be playing a game right we'll be playing a game everything's good right if i fucking die in the game I will immediately just fucking without hesitation go for my fucking phone get on it go straight to fucking instagram and just like start scrolling and then like for the like those few seconds you just see and then as soon as i spawn back in I just go back in and start playing again it was absolutely terrible i completely hated it it got to the point where it would actually like throw me out of my focus and i would just come back in like what the fuck's going on bro like i wouldn't know what the fuck's happening i'm just too focused on like a meme that i just fucking saw and it was like wow that's cool so it was absolutely terrible and the way I see it, to me personally, it was like, holy shit, this is an absolute fucking waste of time. And I genuinely do know people in my life that have openly said that a certain fucking social apps have fucking just, it's just, they just get it stuck to it, bro. It's absolutely terrible knowing that this is a thing. Keep in mind, let me give another example. I got fucking TikTok specifically for YouTube. That's it. I got a TikTok just to post it, right? And that was the app that I got banned on. So I'll just be real honest. With you. Already, like the backstory, that's the one I got fucking banned on. Or like shadow banned and then muted. And then fucking told like I was fucking a piece of shit. So yeah, anyways. <laughs> so during that time, whenever I get uh got it uh TikTok, I knew people that would legitimately just wake up and just get on that fucking app and just be on it. Just start scrolling. Just like not like mindlessly just start scrolling absolutely terrible i understand like you have nothing to do like you're just fucking wake up or you're just chilling there you're fucking bored it's like yeah i get it something to do it's like oh look quick hits of dopamine right here phone go down it go look and scroll 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 fucking quick hits go da, 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 da. like i get it it's fucking it is addictive i've seen it before it was terrible i was fucking a part of that i was on but for me it was fucking instagram i have made it so fucking clear that i will not use tiktok as a social platform to actually get on there and start scrolling that when i first got the app i just looked at it to see just see what was up and i you immediately could tell why it's addictive i've i fucking get on i see it like holy shit all you do is just fucking one finger motion and next you know you see all this dumb shit it's like oh yeah 100 percent. i completely agree it's like yeah this app is really addictive dude i do not like it for that fucking reason and i get it it's a fucking you know it's just trying to keep your attention span just try to keep it for like that those clear like four fucking over three second bullshit whatever just to keep you uh, more engaged with the app which then makes the app more money via fucking ads and other dumb shit like i get it it's very important for a business standpoint but i mean for like a personal fucking you know as your individual self oh my god it's not good and i just i will i literally refuse to fucking use it other than fucking use it for marketing on youtube and that's it fucking i'll post and then ghost that's it i'll post something fucking make a quick description post it fucking leave never look back at it again i'll look back at it like the next fucking two hours or so just to see on like the analytics of it like i want to see how many fucking views i got how many likes i got how many people commented i want to see all that shit at the beginning it was fucking amazing like holy shit there was getting 500 views per fucking video but then you know i got fucking banned and then shadow banned and then muted and then told i was a piece of shit by you fucking tiktok so i was like okay that's fucking cool so now i just completely just kind of stopped using it for now until i get fucking out of this fucking banned zone which is probably it's probably more of like a fucking cute fucking time period so we'll never we'll see how it goes maybe next week but anyways i digress to the next fucking point of the topic that was the tiktok version of it I fucking do not use it for that only for that reason because I know it is just sucking away your time and I don't have that much time in a day I will be 100% honest with you it is just wake up immediately getting shit done I just need to start either working on YouTube I need to start working on myself or just working on some fucking project that I refuse to talk about because it's private to me okay that's just how it is so knowing that there are instances where i just can't where i'm just I, I waste like an hour or two 30 minutes fucking the most like hours like a few hours just on instagram for me was just mind-numbingly just like just dis it was a distraughting moment i just hate i hated it because it was like damn i just wasted all this time and then you feel fucking shitty about it you just feel like a piece of shit you're like wow i just fucking sat here and did fuck off for the, like a whole day it was like damn it's fucking crazy and it's like a fucking sunday or something right it's just absolutely terrible for me personally 
like that's just don't like it now keep in mind i'm not saying if you do do that that you're just a piece of shit like i'm not saying that whatsoever you can do what the fuck you want i honestly don't care if you snort heroin okay it doesn't bother me it's like i'm completely supportive of it the fact that's why we're fucking that's why i'm a fucking american if you do that you're, that's, you're right you're go ahead i so you're like i don't really care it's not my fucking it's not my place to tell you how you should live that's just me okay you do what the fuck you want but for me personally as myself I just don't want to waste my time. I don't want to do that. I just want to at least get something done. I want to at least work on something. I want to fucking do something. And whenever it comes to like Instagram being so addictive and just make and just like you see like again pretty pictures like you see that shit and it's like oh yeah it's really nice and it's like oh yeah it's enjoyable like i do like some of the shit that goes on there it's pretty sweet now keep in mind like i said i'm not a saint before in the very beginning i said that i'm not a saint i still get on this app to like scroll around and do fuck shit however i don't i haven't relapsed back to what i was i haven't went back to the state where i was just fucking just constantly glued to this fucking phone literally this phone's literally used for fucking music and then whenever I need to fucking make shit for my videos, that's literally it. And other than that, like a few occasional, like fucking out of a whole, out of a week, maybe, maybe like an hour or so in total of a week's uh, of a whole week of just on fucking social media, just scrolling around. Like I, like I'll just do quick scrolls and I'll just force myself. I just need to stop. I get that. It's absolutely fucking terrible. Now keep in mind, I, I guarantee you, I'll probably have a relapse back one day, but as of right now, just making this video, I want to make it apparent for me personally, like, Hey, you need to stop fucking around on this app and just stop, uh, just stop being just on that thing use it for marketing use it for fucking uh getting your fucking channel out there and that's it everything else everything else about it is secondary of course like i get it like i have my little friends on there i will still fucking have this app because of them i have their fucking phone numbers though so it uh, doesn't really matter we're pretty chill but other than that like i don't even uh, i don't even post that much on the fucking uh, that much i'll just fucking send them shit via their actual text messages that's what i usually send people it's like i'm so oh, look i found something i'm sending their text messages because i have their fucking phone number it's literally it but anyways just want to talk about that the idea of just that's this fucking that social media is literally just it just like i get it there's pros and cons to it i get that like on one hand it sounds it sounds it sounds fucking dumb from coming from me where it's like i'm using a social platform as my fucking as my way of like trying to get out there like i get it it sounds condescending it's like what the fuck are you talking about bro like you're fucking you're you're telling you're saying that's a bad thing but yeah you're using it like i get it i understand but it's just a weird type of it, the way the best way i can say it is i need you just I gotta have fucking discipline in order to fucking use it i can't just strictly be on that and just be fucking addicted to it like i just can't do that it's absolutely terrible so that's why I want to at least limit myself to fucking when I'm using one of these social platforms for like certain purposes. It's literally it. I understand it's fucking it's fucking very addictive because addiction is fucking real and it's fucking terrible. But keep in mind, I'm thankful that I only have that I never fucking got into anything else but just a fucking social media thing. Easy to kick. Just fucking for me personally, just fucking stop looking at it. Done. But I mean, for other people, I understand it's difficult. That's what fucking sucks about it. It's because it just gets you and there's really nothing we could do about it other than your own fucking work and i it's easier said than done it's very hard i understand and i very am much apologetic for people that are fucking st like wait uh, stuck wasting their time then they want to get off these apps it's absolutely terrible anyways that's just my quick fucking rant it's my quick little story you probably know already know where the end where this video is ending and it's going to be right here let me say this again if you haven't so already please just subscribe to the channel, share it, like it, do whatever. It really is supportive. Say something positive in the fucking comments down below. It's just does like anything that helps with the fucking hell. You, you could say something negative too. It really doesn't matter. I'm completely open to it all. And this uh, this whole thing is just you know trying to get myself out there. I'm very thankful for the people that do stick around. And yeah, other than that, I don't know how I'll end the video.